Axel Masson is a gastronomy expert and cooking teacher from France. Born and raised in the city of fine dining, Paris, Masson has been sharing his passion for gastronomy and years of experience working in high-class hospitality with some of the best chefs through renowned international establishments cooking familiar ingredients into fine delicacies. Having traveled to 39 countries, Masson realized food is the simplest way for him to learn about other cultures. So what about Vietnamese cuisine won Masson's heart and mind and made him decide to settle down in Hanoi? Let's follow his culinary journey with this edition of Fine Cuisine. Vietnamese would just transform every single ingredient to make like a perfection out of so much work and time for every single ingredient. That's incredible. The first understanding of Vietnamese cuisine came to me in a rather unexpected way. A material I never thought of. A trip I never planned. New friends who are so friendly while simple and skillful in their work. However, all things that are not planned became an inspiration for my first special menu in Vietnam. Hi everyone, I'm now in uh, Hongien province where the 2018 Longien Festival is taking place. Since it's my favorite fruit, it's the perfect time right now to come as it's the harvest season. So I really can't wait to see how I can bring some of them from the farm to my table. But first, let's have some. I tried some uh, amazing longins the other day at the festival, and I really wanted to know how they take care of the trees, of the fruit. So I'm now in a, in a farm to meet a local farmer and see uh, how they do that. Let's go. The sweet taste of the longans I ate at the festival brought me to Hong Nam Commune, the land of longan in Hung Yen province. Here, you can find hundreds years old longan trees which have been recognized as a national heritage. Hong Nam is a fertile alluvial land with a tropical climate. These natural conditions favor the development of longan. This is also one of the Longan growing regions that apply Viet Gap, Vietnamese good agricultural practices, standards in production. Oh, hello. Hello. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. <laughs> so, what are you doing right now? Đây là đang, đang hái nhãn. Okay. So, they are ready. Should I try one? Xin mời. Okay, thank you. Come on. How long have you been um, working here in this? Oh, really good looking farm. Nhà vườn ở đây là trồng được 20 năm. 20 năm. Thế mà đến khi thu hoạch đến bây giờ là được 15 năm rồi. Trong cái vườn này thì rất là nhiều loại giống. giống hương chi, nhãn đường phèn, còn một số các loại nhãn nữa thì gia đình là tự chiết ghép. Do you grow them like naturally without chemicals? Nhãn ở đây là sản xuất theo tiêu chuẩn Việt Gáp. Okay. 100% là nhãn sạch, không có chất hóa học, không có chất bảo quản. Right, so uh, it's another Rất là yên tâm. gap, all right? So it's basically organic. Nice. Mm. You know, like, that's my style of cooking. I love cooking healthy food with beautiful fruits, vegetables, when it's organic. And it's a great news to know that that's 100% organic. Depending on the color and taste of the longans, people give them different names. Succulent longan, firm flesh longan, Hung chi longan, sweet longan. Hung yen longan is characterized by its big size, small seed, firm skin, and a juicy, sweet flavor. 
Most people in Huangnam Commune plant longan. During harvest season, local people go to each other's gardens to help with the harvest. Làm nhãn thì không kể được thời gian giờ giấc cả. Coi như cứ mải miết, nếu mà khách cứ đông đến thì cứ làm từ sáng đến tối. Nhà tôi thì trồng À, nói chung là cũng nhiều loại nhãn lắm à, nhãn làm nông cũng có mà nhãn à, xuất đi cũng có nhưng bây giờ là chủ yếu là làm nhãn việt gác chính nhãn hồng nam bao giờ ăn cũng có cái độ sắc nước hơn mà thơm hơn cùng một loại giống nhưng mà trồng trên đất hồng nam vẫn ngon hơn Apart from harvesting longan fruits in August, Hoàng Nam's farmers also make longan honey longan pollen, and dried longan. For Vietnamese people, they're such typical ingredients. However, they're supposed to add new flavors for the dishes of Masson that we'll see later. For now, let's continue to see what Masson is experiencing on the farm. Okay, so just pick that one over there. Yeah? Okay. So, um, you said this one, eh? That's right. Let's see. Oh, it's a bit small, eh? A bigger one. All right. Wait, I can't, I can't get any over here. I'm sorry. They're too far. They're too far. All right, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Ooh. I think I had enough for today. Uh, we did a really good job and they are beautiful longans. And she actually promised me to uh, have a little dessert now. So let's see what we get. Lotus and longan sweet soup is one of the dishes you will surely be invited to try when visiting Hung Yen province. The recipe for this dish is quite simple. Lotus seeds are boiled and caramelized with sugar syrup. Fresh longan with seeds are filtered out. All right, so now that I know uh, how to <clears throat> prepare it, thanks to your very helpful advices, uh, let's see how I can do it. So, basically get rid of the skin first, right on the top. And then we want to do like a nice turn around. And then when we get the seed, that's the very difficult part, isn't it? Then we want to take it off. And what do we do? One, two, three. All right. And then slowly, very gentle, we want to take it off. And we are supposed to Put it in the plate. Am I supposed to do that? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat it. I just love longans. <laughs> They're so good. I shouldn't do that though. Mm. All right, next. Then they put lotus seeds inside the fruit. This is also the hardest part of cooking longan sweet soup. Tapioca is the ingredient that condenses the flavor for sweet soup. When the cooking is finished, the fragrant scent of lotus seeds and longans can stimulate everyone's appetite. Very interesting, like in terms of taste and texture. We Add the longan all around and the combination of both is just absolutely perfect. In terms of smell, you can feel of course the longan and kind of honey smell and with the lotus, at first it has absolutely no smell but when you start to cook it, uh, you get this 
this nutty smell, I would say like kind of hazelnut. Refined, I actually love it. And how to get it better than here on the spot with the farmer that just made it like what, two minutes ago? Amazing, I think it's the best longan soup I've ever had. And I'm gonna have some more. Either working in gastronomy or as a cooking teacher, for Masson, healthy and tasty must come together at the same time. The fresh and dried longans he found in Hung Yen wonderfully met these requirements. That's the reason why Masson decided to start his menu with the Longan Crispy Organic Quinoa Salad. Basically, uh, when we go with such a healthy thing, sometimes we think, oh, healthy is kind of boring. We'll go here with the longan, the dry one has this honey and buttery kind of texture without using like butter that would be like a bit too much calorie. The ingredients are very familiar and easy to find. Peruvian organic quinoa fresh and dried longans. Goji berries. Cucumber. Capsicums. Lime, fresh aromatic herbs, including coriander, mint, and sprouts. In addition, we also need Vietnamese cashew nuts, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, olive oil, and lychee vinegar. Quinoa is one of the main ingredients in the salad dish. Since it is high in nutrients and minerals, and also gluten-free, the UN has even suggested using quinoa worldwide since 2013. Meanwhile, longan is known as a healthy fruit with high vitamin C, which treats insomnia and is anti-aging. The combination of quinoa with longan, along with other vegetables ingredients, brings in a healthy and fresh start for the entree dish. We used uh, dry longans in the quinoa salad, but of course for a bit of freshness, we used like chopped uh, fresh longans, which gives like this juicy, wonderful kind of uh, well-balanced acidity. To even go more with that, we used some organic lychee vinegar, a perfect balance for a wonderful dish. The long and honey, the first time I tried it was in the Hong Yen Festival. That one was like the purest form, I guess, like the very flavorful one. No honey can have like this kind of taste. When I tried it, I thought, well, let's caramelize some kind of seafood or um, shrimp with it. And then came the idea. As a main, uh, we'll have like prawns, uh, flambe prawns with cognac, so that's a very French-influenced dish. 
uh, and we'll use long and honey to caramelize it. Since flambéed prawns is a familiar dish in French cuisine, Masson decided to fusion his dish with an X factor, longan honey. Among many ingredients, longan honey plays its key role in bringing a new and fresh life for the longan flower honey flambéed prawns dish. The sweetness from the longan honey helps eliminate the cognac strong taste. While its smell brings in a gentle aroma when combined harmoniously with other ingredients. I love just like grilled shrimp uh, on nice butter with black pepper and then adding some cognac. We make it flambé and finish it with lemon and garlic. Um, but then I was thinking, well, we're gonna caramelize it with this very special honey before flambé it. And we tried and yes, it's, uh, it's a success. Panna cotta is a typical dessert of Italian cuisine. The dish is famous for its slightly sweet and fresh flavor. Making panna cotta is quite interesting because there are many variations depending on the chef's idea and seasonal fruits. And the slightly sweet taste of longan is seen as the perfect choice to create a variation of Italian panna cotta. Though many new species of longan trees have been introduced to increase productivity, Hung Yen farmers always show their appreciation for the old longan trees. Most of the old trees are more than 100 years old now, but thanks to the care of the Hung Yen people, they have stood strong against time and weather. I met with Nguyen Van Tu, an old man in Hung Nam district, who has devoted his whole life to taking care of his precious longan trees, even until now. Wow. Ăn đường, đường, độ đường cao. Cái quả nhãn này nó, cái cùi nó, cùi nó giòn, ừ, cùi nó giòn này. Right. Nó vân muối này, mà nó ngọt khác này, mà cái hương vị nó thơm nó đượm. Nice. Chứ nó không như những các cái nhãn khác. Mm. Quả này không to nó vừa phải thôi. Chú lếm thử cái quả nhãn đặc sản của quê hương Hồng Nam. Nhãn điều khen, chất lượng cao ấy. Ờ, bác à, bác lên bác à, hái xuống chú à, thưởng thức thoải mái. Okay. <cười> you know what? I'd <cười> love to try one of them like from the very uh, 140 years old tree. Yeah. Like... The taste is very different. It has like um, a lively but well, yet 
well-balanced acidity. Um, it has as well like this kind of uh, honey, abricot and peach uh, aftertaste, which is very, very um, unique. Uh, it actually inspires me a lot uh, to cook some of my recipes. Uh, we'll do some amazing uh, things with that for sure. Mm, very special. Well, thank you very much. Come on and I'll see you later. Bye. I was like really thinking, how can I bring all my European uh, Mediterranean background, all this French and Italian kind of uh, flavors I like and bring these Hungian flavors to it or, or make something like that will work together. And it was, yeah, it was very challenging. Nassau has made use of every product of the longan tree for this dessert, including longan pollen, longan's flower honey, and fresh longan. I was inspired by the soup, um, the actual uh, sweet soup that we had over there, um, with the lotus seed and the longan fruit, right? So what I wanted to do is to take this dish, this very typical dish, and turn it into a Mediterranean and Vietnamese fusion. The inspiration can clearly be seen in the way that Massan caramelizes lotus seeds. So basically while, uh, when I wanted to smash the lotus seed is to make kind of a, uh, kind of a puree, but I didn't want to have it too soft. Uh, so that's why I only cooked it for a minute in, in hot water and then just crush it. So this will be the bottom part of the panna cotta, kind of a cheesecake style, right? So when you basically will uh, take your spoon deep into the panna cotta, at the very end you'll get something crunchy, but you won't actually be able to see that they are um, lotus seeds. And chopping longans for his panna cotta. They are sweet, right? But at the same time, there are a bit. There is an acidity. It's a very well balanced fruit. It's very juicy, sweet, but not too sweet, right? So to cook with it, probably chop it. Use a tiny bit of it. Uh, that's the trick. And then the pollen. Pollen is very strong in terms of taste. Like wow. So what we want to do is once again put a little bit. Just add a little bit. Try because it's kind of bitter. In order to make good food with longan, choosing longans of high quality and suitable sweetness is very important. The following infographic shows the characteristics of longans in Hung Yen province. Hung Yen province is home to some 4,340 hectares of longan fruit farming. Half of longan fruits are grown under Viet Gap standards. The province's total longan output is over 40,000 tons per year, concentrated in some main areas, including Hung Yen City, Hoi Chau, Kim Dok, Bien Lu, Phu Gu, and Anti districts. The longan production areas of Hong Nam Commune, Hung Yen City, and Hoi Chau district are the two best known. Hong Nam Commune, Hung Yen City has a total of 194.82 hectares of longan trees. Its main product is Hung Chi Longan, accounting for 70% of the commune's total production. The remaining yield consists of T1, T2, T6, Sweet Longan, and other local varieties. Currently, 263 households of the commune are growing Glongan under Viet Gap standards. Khoi Chau District is another large Glongan production area of Hung Yen Province with 1,650 hectares. 
80% of the district's longan is Min Hit longan, while T2, T6, and Sweet longans account for 10%. There are two harvest seasons of longan in the district in the second half of July and from late August to October. Hengyan's longans are now distributed at some major supermarket chains such as Saigon Co-op, Big C, Vivi Mart, Vin Mart, and Hapro. I'd say exotic. Uh, exotic, why? Because even if you are from Long, uh, Hong Yen, or if you are from, let's say, Italy or France, or whenever, wherever in the Western world, or even anywhere in Vietnam, it's going to be exotic for you. Uh, this fusion will be exotic for everyone, even for myself. Right? Then I'd say uh, healthy, of course, very healthy. We always try to have it wonderful because we had so much wonderful time over there in Hong Yen. We have, it is a wonderful world, wonderful dish, wonderful flavors. So yeah, definitely I would say wonderful. <laughs>